This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? So Lil London was on Instagram Live. She talked Baddies West reunion and also about the Baddies East auditions. Listen to what she had to say. They want to fight. They both agreed that they wanted to fight. They got they want and then they set the fuck down. And I thought it was going to be the same thing with Natalie and Tommy. Like I thought they were going to like do their shit and then sit down and we have a conversation, move on to the next thing. The fans want to see people like getting over this bullshit and you know what I'm saying? Like having some type of resolution. Scotty, your shit froze. I'm finna hang Scotty up. I'm gonna have to do it over. She right now in LA. Y'all, how I hang her up? If I end this, no. How can I end the call, y'all? Tell me what to do. Hang up and start over. I'm gonna hang up and start out. Let me just see if I can ask somebody else. Who on here? Y'all, it's frozen. Scotty done fucked up the lie. Hello. What's up? Oh, put your face in the camera. See? Y'all playing. Don't be requesting me if y'all don't want to talk about nothing. But anyway, yeah. Um, it's crazy how folks be online doing all that capping and then when we get in front of each other, it, it don't be nothing. Just the same little talking shit. Just talking shit. I don't be having time for all that. I be trying to get to the bottom of the issue. Bitch, why y'all like me? Why you mad? Okay, do you want to fight? All right, let's fight. Let's get it over with. On to the next. Like, get to the bag. Like, we too cute to be out here doing all this scrapping and fussing and fighting all the time. Like, bitches getting their wigs snatched off. Y'all seen the bloody nails at the end of the reunion? Like, I have PTSD from that shit. Because when I first came on baggies, I'm like, oh, okay. I ain't coming on there to be, you know, on all this bullshit. I'm just coming on there to get to the bag, you know, promote my shit, meet some new bitches. And I get in a fight. Like the second day, so I have like these long ass nail saw. Like it fucked up my nail bed for like three months after I had that fight with Krishan. I'm like, see, this why I don't be out here in the streets doing all this ghetto ass shit because this affects my whole life. Like, bitch, I gotta wear these short baby ass nails until my nail bed gets strong enough to wear my grippers again. Like, I don't like shit like that. So I've been trying to just have less like physical altercation as possible, but. If somebody put their hands on me, I'm definitely going to defend myself. You disrespect my mom and daddy, my family, sister, brother, cousin, friend. Like, then it is what it is. But all that petty shit, I don't be having time for it. That's why I be like, y'all see me on the side. Like, get me out of here. Like, why we even have this nice, cute little setup? Why we got on nice clothes if we wasn't going to talk and resolve issues? Let's put up a motherfucking wrestling ring in this bitch. Let's put some little workout outfits and box it out. Yeah, such a bullshit. Okay, so this week, let's get to what we're doing this week because we back outside, getting back to the bag. I'm going to be in Dayton, Ohio on Saturday at Napoleon's Reloaded. So if y'all in Dayton, Ohio, come out, turn up with your girl. Me and Miss Cat going to be there. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be in D.C. for my girl Ray's her birthday. Oh, let me go ahead and trust that while I'm here. So, of course, y'all already know what's going on. Like, they try to say, like, oh, uh, she said that she was scared of Scotty. Like, no, not saying that she was. That's how Tommy tried to flip. Like, oh, she said she was scared of Scotty. No, she don't want to have to deal with no bullshit. Like, all the bullshit that was going on at the reunion. Like, who the fuck want to have on? If I knew that a bitch, like, you know, you think everything cool. You come to the reunion, you come to sit down, have a conversation, resolve some shit. But then bitches, you know, talking like, oh, I'm gonna fight you, do do do, and you already got your outfit, your hair, nails, all your shit planned. You like, okay, nah, I don't wanna do that. Or whatever the case may have been. But it wasn't trying to say like, oh, I think she's scared of her or this and that. It's just that some bitches just don't wanna be having no drama, no physical altercation with bitches when they ain't got to. So I'm cool with Razor, I'm cool with Scotty, and I'll be in DC this weekend turning up like all that shit. Y'all gotta understand this is a job, this is a television show, so I don't be taking that shit outside of there like Whatever y'all want to have over there, that's over there. Like, in my real life, bitch, it's lit. We turn, we get to the bag. Like, we not online talking shit all day, setting up fights, pulling up on bitches. Like, that's not what we're doing. That's not a bad. Like, if you got time to be focused on another bitch all day, then you got too much time on your hands. 
So I hope that, like, at the end of the show, it says some bitches need healing. Like, some of y'all really need to heal. But hopefully everybody got all the smoke off their chest. I'm waiting on the next season. Baddies East. I want to see what they're going to be doing on there. Who going to show up? Who going to show out? Because the auditions was crazy. Bitches was trying to corner me in the bathroom. Like, bitch, you ain't pick me. You ain't even give me a chance to talk. I'm like, well, I know a baddie when I see one, number one. And a baddie ain't coming in here with no fucking um, 1999 synthetic wig on. Like, you ain't even got it together, sis. So don't come over here trying to pressure me because, like, all that energy you put into trying to come to me, you need to figure out how you can get yourself together and show up. Like, your first impressions is everything. If you're going to a job interview, like, you're going to look your best. You're going to be your best. You're going to be on point. You're not going to come in there all angry, trying to fight bitches, all this and that. Like, I might would have gave you a second chance, but to say what you got to say and bring you back in the room, I'm like, okay, come on. Well, let me hear what you got to say. Let me hear what you're about. Let me hear what you bring to the table. Like, y'all out here desperate looking for a situation and a come up when y'all could be focusing on, like, y'all business and this and that. Don't try to, like, baby, it's not a come up for me. Like, I already been on. I been get to it. Yes, it's 10x what I'm doing. So, yes, I have more bookings. But I was never not booked. I've been booked for the last 13 years. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never not been booked. But now I have a few more bookings. Now I have a few more people wanting to endorse me. So don't come over here with nothing to bring to the table and expect me to listen to what the fuck you got to say. Like, no. Come over here like, hey, girl, so I have this business. I do this. I do that. You know, even people like Biggie, I respect her. Like, she came up, show like, oh, I host parties. I do this. She might not be a person that, like, be the public figure of the party, but she bring girls together for bookings and hostings, and she do it at different cities and stuff. I respect that because when you have a booking, yeah, bitch, call me. Call me. I'll come out to your city, book me. We get to the bag together, and, you know, that's how you do that. Don't come over here looking for baddies like, oh, I got five kids, three baby daddies. Who I need to get on baddies. This going to help my life. Like, okay, well, how you going to help us? You just bring in more, more baggage. So y'all got to know, like, you know, what you bring to the table. Like, being a baddie is not all about these bitches up. I know that's what we like to do, but we also like to get to the bag. We like to bounce ideas off each other. We like to, you know, get together, share each other resources. So, yeah. So, everybody who mad at me from the Bad East auditions, like, I'm sorry, but I know a star when I see one. I know star quality, and some of y'all just didn't have it. Some of y'all did, but I really feel like we need to have one more audition. Maybe like a virtual audition or something because I feel like it really wasn't a lot of girls out there. That came through the room that we were in. Now, some girls skipped the um, audition, like the line that we were in. They were already VIP room with Natalie and Krishan and Tokyo, Black China and them. So I didn't see a lot of girls, but the girls that I seen, like, y'all wasn't coming with it enough. So we'll see when a baddie's audition come out. But anyway, I need to go work out. My little waist train on. I'm going to be outside. Being a baddie is not a look. It's a mindset. Yes, just Brittany. She know what's up. So y'all need to um blow Natalie up and tell her that y'all want to have another baddie audition. Maybe like a virtual audition. Because I do feel like we missing out on a lot of baddies that can bring stuff to the table. Other girls that do music. Other girls that DJ. Like other girls that just do other things besides fight and look cute because I know I get to the bag regardless. Who are you trying to go live? Let me see if I get off the hill. Okay, the little Zeus Inc. page. Y'all out here, where you at? Where you at? Okay, hey, y'all ain't not here no more. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Lou. Hello, what's your name, boo? Because I be following your page and yeah. <laughs> I be seeing you be keeping up with all the drama. Yeah. So, my name is Amir. I've been with all the tea and all y'all. And all y'all. Introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? My name is Amir. I run the Just Network T Inc. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know what's okay. up. You feel me? Hey, Amir, <laughs> nice to meet you finally. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so, what's up? What you, what you want to know? <laughs> I want to know a lot. So, for one, was there an extra round with you and Krishan that was edited out or? It wasn't edited out. It wasn't no cameras around. Like that's and that's the whole point of it. Like I'm not. I don't do shit for camera. Like I said. Like I don't. I'm not trying to be walking around pulling up on bitches, fighting bitches. But if I do have a problem with someone, I'm gonna check it and address it. And I don't need the cameras for that. Right. Because at the end of the day, like I said, me and Krishan had no prior beef. Mm -hmm. Now after you, you know, what I'm saying, jump on me while I'm having a conversation. 
with you. Now I got beef with you about that. And right. we got past that. But it wasn't like a whole nother round of fight. But some shit went down and it went on camera because it don't need mm-hmm. to be on camera. Mm-hmm. So. All right. And another thing, how do you feel about Ray's or not coming? Because I seen like the other girls were more in an uproar about it, but you were more so, you know. Yeah, like, because I can't, what? At the end of the day, <laughs> it, it's not my show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yes, it's Natalie's show. Natalie has the right to be mad because she's the executive producer of this show. She's the one who's making sure to check that you get paid, you know. Mm-hmm. So, Natalie being our mutual friend, being our friend, like, out of respect, you know what I'm saying, for the job and the show, like, I would have shown up for her. But if yeah. she didn't want to come, she didn't want to come. Like, right. I'm not going to be like, oh, she didn't come. I'm not, I'm not fucking with her. Like, no. Like, she had her own personal reasons why she didn't make it, why she didn't come. Right. So, that's on her. Like, I'm not going to be, like, acting crazy. Yeah, about. you can't do that. Okay, my last thing, because mm-hmm. this is the last thing I want to talk about. So, yesterday on part two of the reunion, you and Tommy was kind of getting into a little back and forth. What was that all about? The I don't know. I think that she was just like, didn't want to deal with the situation that was on hand that she had to deal with with other yeah. people that had shit with her. So she was trying to, you know, deflect that towards me because she know like, I don't have no issue with Tommy at the end of the day. Like, I don't know Tommy. I never really got a chance to get to know her like that. But mm-hmm. I don't have no issues with her. But I do have an issue with bringing weapons on set. Like, that's yeah. For what? Who's it's girls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's girls. Ain't nobody, they not gonna, the security not gonna let nobody jump you. They not gonna right. let nobody really put their hands on you for over 30 seconds. So mm-hmm. it's like, you just gotta really get out there. Like, this is the trenches. Like, mm-hmm. you signed up for this shit. So you gotta get out there and get it. Like, nobody was, you know, I didn't come at you no type of way itself that I said you had a taste and you tried to lie at first right. and say, I don't have a taste of what you talking about. This my phone. Like, why you lying? Mm-hmm. Like, you clearly have a taste. So, Get it off the stage to do what you gotta do. Yeah, definitely seen that. What a little Android little then, <laughs> taser for me. I thought that they was gonna come in. They both grown ass women. They both been talking shit about each other. Yeah. They both, you know, they already had one fight. So come in, woo woo woo. Let's get our one. Then let's sit down and talk about how we can move forward. Right. So that, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Cause, yeah. But clearly, we are. Y'all gonna say, cause we can see you do your little outfit switch and everything. Yeah, little, because <laughs> no, when I had on twenty five hundred dollar dress, twenty five hundred dollar yeah. shoes, so yeah. I'm not fucking that up for nobody. Like at the right. end of the day, I'm gonna go put my nice garments back in my trailer, and I'm gonna change and come stoop down to y'all level on this bullshit that y'all on, cause yeah. that's clearly what mm-hmm, y'all want, but that's not why I was here. Okay, well that's all I the mean, questions well, I have. Well, uh, somebody asked me this to ask you: Are you? Would you do baddies east? Um. So- I don't know. Like, if they ask me to do Baddies East, I may be open to it, but I'm definitely down to, like, maybe sit down with um, Natalie, the executive producer, and the other producers on the team to, like, talk about how we can just make it a little bit, like, for me, me personally, it's not my cup of tea. Like, I don't want, I want to do stuff with these girls. I want to, you know, let's build bigger than, let's build this brand bigger than what it is. Let's build each other Mm -hmm. up. And I feel like we can do that as long as we have women that are, like, on the same mindset that are like-minded like some girls don't care they feel like oh i'm already lit off of this Ooh, i'm coming in i'm just ugh. like whatever just mm-hmm. i'm active all day whatever you know what i'm saying like okay well how do you do y'all i don't know how to communicate and get past shit or are we just gonna hold on to this right. and drag it off like it could still be drama on the show if we actually did shit like you know yeah. even sitting yeah. down going to sip and paint bitches could get drunk like this you fucked up you know Bitches, the paint fight. It's a, you know what right. I'm saying? Anything with bitches is going to be drama. I worked at Hooters before, <laughs> and it was so drama. Like, it was down there, like, being on baddies or working at a strip club or some shit because it's girl. Right. But we were actually making money. Like, bitch, that's my red look. He's sitting at my table. You know what I'm saying? We in there fight. But, mm-hmm. you know, but we were actually doing shit, like, having a good time, having fun. So right. if I do come back to baddies, like, I just want to do more stuff. Like, I want to have more activities. Like, with the St. Croix. We had fun. We got into it. Me and Rolly. Yeah. Nobody even know me. Rolly got into it. You and Roy. Rolly got into it. Rolly, Bobby. It was just a bunch of crazy. It was crazy shit went down in St. Croix. But like we worked past because we two grown yeah. ass women. We communicated. Mm-hmm. And that's because we drunk. You know what's going yeah, on? Yeah, we drunk. Yeah, we drunk. We turned it up. Like we out the country, but we was having a good time. Yeah. And we worked past that shit. And then the next day, we passed it. We over it. We having fun, turning up again. Yeah. And, and so that's, that's what I mean, like women that just, you know, on the same mindset that's like mine. Yeah, I definitely would want to see you on the next season because you was that person that kept it positive all the time. You know, like, I just want to go out, the negativity, like, 
I definitely see the difference between the old you and the new you. Like the new yes, you. Yes, like, I used to be on one, but that's yeah. because you know, growing and mature, like you find yourself like, okay, like I was just. I honestly was fucking with bitches, but being on Bad Girls Club and Baddies are two different things. Yeah. Like, Bad Girls Club, it felt like we was jail. Yeah. We ain't had no cell phones. We ain't had no radio, no television. So, at no point in time, I could just go in my room and, like, vibe out or call my man. And, you know, it was yeah. none of that. It was just, like, being in jail. So, I was fucking with bitches a little bit. Like, let's just go strike some shit up. It's boring. Like, mm-hmm. you know? But, yeah, I'm way past that, like. Yeah, you I'm so definitely my favorite on this season. Thank you oh, for answering my questions. Too. I gotta go. Me too, Thanks, bro. I'm gonna, gonna work out my girl here. <laughs> I'm gonna go work out, eat, go shopping. You know, oh, this hold on. That's Another thing. Huh? No, why, why didn't we get no merch? No. no. You know, I, I don't know. So. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm trying to go out tonight, go out tonight t-shirt. <laughs> I got some printed out. Like, they made me a little thing. I ain't like it. Like, I wanted it to look a little yeah. better. And because I'm always so booked and busy, like, I haven't just sat down. But I'm home for a whole week. So yeah. this week, I'm literally working on it. I'm going to go see my T-shirt guy. Because everybody wants the T-shirt with the mug yeah. shot, uh, mug shot on it. All my yeah. friends got the merch. They I only really with the merch. merch. Yeah. But I'm going to get y'all some merch. I promise it's going to be out by the, I'm trying to go uh, by June 1st. Yeah. Try to have the merch out. So we're going to get some shit cracking. So. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. All right. <laughs> well, it was good talking to you. It's it so nice, nice to meet you because you, you be too. up on it. You don't mean shit. I love it. Yeah. That. That's what I mean. Like, you a real motherfucking boss. That's, that's what Maddie do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you keep up. You on your job. You, mm-hmm. you need to get you some more promos. Tell people to pay you yeah, for, for sure. your fee. For sure. All that. Get you some exclusive tea on OnlyFans so people got to pay to see that shit. All yeah. that. Or a subscription on um Instagram. Yeah, you, you right. Be, you be working. So make that. Make your money. It's mm-hmm. what it really work. Make it really yeah, work. You- right thank you for that okay all right love see you. you love you too okay y'all i'm out nadia you want to come say hi to these people yeah sure <laughs> yeah hey, it's people. A, this is a uh, sea moss queen she got yes. the sea moss, y'all. if y'all ever need some sea moss come tap in with me i got a bunch of different flavors and I handpicked it from St. Lucia, so it's the quality. We don't play about our quality, do we? Period. Period. I'm about to get all my sea balls. We're going to hit the gym. I love you and your Coachella shirt. Yeah. <laughs> y'all was at Coachella tripping on the shorts. No, for real. But I hope y'all have a blessed day. It's Monday. Let's get active. Let's yes. get motivated. Let's get this money. Period. And, you know, let's just look cute doing it, too. All right. So you heard what she had to say. Now let me know your thoughts. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.